Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. A warm welcome to you all on this day that we observe Palm Sunday, and we begin our walk through Holy Week. We'll be celebrating the Sacrament of Communion today, and so you might like to pause the video right now and get your elements ready. We usually have bread and wine or, or juice to represent the wine when we celebrate communion at church, but you can choose whatever is handy, whatever you have, uh, bread, uh, a roll, cracker, um, juice, even milk or water, uh, whatever is convenient for you. And when it comes to that time in the service, all of our elements, no matter what they are, all of those elements will be blessed. So if you'd like to pause the video now and get ready, that's a good time to do so. Let us celebrate God's presence together. As we light the Christ candle, we're reminded of the words of Jesus when he said, I am the light of the world. Those who follow me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let's join to sing our opening hymn, Ride On, Ride On in Majesty. us out today. He's uh, going to be reading and helping with the communion service. Our first reading is from John chapter 12 verses 12 to 16 when we hear about Jesus's triumphant entry into Jerusalem. The reading from John today tells of Jesus triumphal entry into Jerusalem. 
The next day, the great crowd that had come to the festival had heard Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, as it is written, Do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written of him and had been done to him. Please pray with me. O oh Christ, you entered the city as a poor man, not in style, but simply. Yet still you caused uproar and questions everywhere. You drew the expectations of a hungry crowd and brought buried conflicts to the light. May we who are sometimes swayed by the crowd's approval and who often avoid conflict for fear of its cost to us, hold fast to the gospel of peace and justice and follow faithfully in your way of compassion and solidarity with those who are poor and excluded wherever it may lead us. Amen. And now our second reading today is from Paul's first Paul, Paul's first letter to the church at Corinth. And this is from chapter 11, verses 23 to 26. And this is when we hear about the institution of the Lord's Supper. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. This is a story of our faith. Life as pure and true 
as Jesus did. celebrated communion like this before. Even though we're watching in different locations and participating at different times, as I've said so often this year, we are still a faith community. We give thanks for the spirit that holds us together in these moments, making us one as we come to the table. And as we come to God's table, we're reminded that this is not the table of Elderton United Church, nor is it the table of the United Church of Canada or any particular denomination. This is the table of Jesus Christ, the family feast of the whole people of God, all who seek to be nourished and sustained in the journey of faith. All are welcome here. God be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. O God of many names, you made a covenant with Noah and caused nations in their amazing diversity to spread over the face of the earth. As of old, you led your people out of a land of enslavement to a land of promise. So too, you led our ancestors and some among us into new lands of possibility, there to find you anew. In the fullness of time, you sent Jesus in every aspect human as we are. He grew up in a small town in Galilee, far from the seat of religious and civil power. He learned of the breadth of your grace from a Gentile mother. Beside Jacob's well, he was moved by an encounter with a minority woman and disclosed his messianic identity. Therefore, with these and our other ancestors in the faith, both named and unnamed, who through the ages and all over the world have borne courageous witness to the hope within them, we praise you singing. Holy, holy, holy God, power of life and love, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna through the ages. Blessed is the one who comes to bring your justice to earth. On the last night he spent with his friends, Jesus took an age-old tradition of his people and transformed it into something new. He took bread, staple food of his land, blessed and broke it and gave it to those around him saying, take, eat. This is my body broken for you. Whenever you do this, 
remember me. After supper, he took a cup of wine, common drink of his people, and gave it to them saying, drink this, all of you. This is the new covenant in my blood. Each time you do this, remember me. At this time, we also remember all with whom you would have us share your feast. We pray for all of us who are in sorrow or in pain, all who are ill or alone, all who live with fear, oppression or hunger, for all of us whom the world counts as last and least. We pray for the church and all the ways it lives into its calling, for people and communities as they strive for peace and justice. We pray for the restoration of the earth. We pray for all our families and friends. We remember Jesus today and we proclaim the mystery of our faith. On, On Good Friday, Friday, he died. On Easter, he rose again. Today, he lives forever. Send, O oh God, your Holy Spirit upon us, this congregation near and far and connected in virtual space. May your spirit bless what we do here and in all the places this video reaches. May we and all these gifts, both this bread and wine and the bread and wine dedicated by those participating at home, be empowered by your spirit and so become signs of life and love to one another and to all people of the earth. Praise be to God, the source of love. Praise be to Christ, love incarnate. Praise be to the spirit, love's power. Praise be to God. And the people said, Amen. Amen. Bread for the journey. The wine of arrival. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. The bread of life broken for you. The cup of blessing poured out for you. Friends, let us join to say the prayer after communion together. Let us pray. Holy, Holy One, we, we give, give thanks, thanks that bread broken brings wholeness, that wine poured out replenishes, and that time spent with the risen Christ and one another is gift and grace. Amen. I just have a couple of announcements today. Uh, the annual general meeting of our congregation is Sunday, December the 28th at 10.30 a.m. 
So in fact, if you're watching this video earlier on Sunday morning, I hope that you'll just be able to turn off the video and join us via the Zoom link at 10.30 this morning. There's also going to be a Good Friday worship service and I'll have that uploaded uh, by 10 a.m. on Good Friday. And the Easter service obviously will also be online by Easter morning. And please, I hope that you are, are thinking about your Easter selfies and your Easter greetings and, and you're ready to uh, take those photos and write those messages and send them to me. I'd really appreciate it if I could receive them by Tuesday morning at, um, that would be Tuesday, March the 30th at 9 a.m. so that I have time to put them together um, into a montage for the Easter Sunday worship video. So thanks to all of those of you who've already sent me selfies um, and I'm looking forward to receiving many more. And now, just before you go, I'd like to offer a word of blessing. May the grace of Christ attend you the love of God surround you, and the Holy Spirit keep you, now and forevermore. Amen.